What's going on guys? Discount Tools here. Bring you another amazing discount that uh, you can find at your Home Depot if you look around. This is the X4 18 volt orbital reciprocating saw. Now, works with all the rigid batteries. Some people don't like it, some people do. I find it to be a decent prosumer tool. I like rigid, I started out with rigid, now I'm into Milwaukee and Makita and all the other tools. It's almost like rigid was my gateway. Has the lifetime warranty on it, so anything you know that goes wrong with it, you send it back to rigid through the mail. It might take a while, I don't know. I never used their uh, warranty service yet. I haven't had any problems with it, but I did I did hear online about some problems, but we're talking about this guy right here. This is the R8641B, and uh, it's a bare tool. The reason why I got this, because of the price, 60 bucks. You can't go wrong with this, with the lifetime warranty, all right? Now, we got to open her up here, and I'm telling you right now, but let's look at the features first, actually, before we open her up. Zoom in here. Alright, it has the adjustment tool-free pivoting shoe. So if you get the Ryobi, I don't believe they have that yet. The grip light, there's a light down here. And it's tool-free blade changing. So yes, it's not as good as the, a Milwaukee, but better quality than the, uh, the rigid. I mean, not the rigid. <laughs> the Ryobi. And it looks like it comes with a uh, reciprocating sword blade, and the uh, it comes with the owner's manual. So let's open her up. It's cardboard here. Nice. Put her down here. What so we got in here? There's the blade. Chintzy blade. And it is rigid. I like rigid though, overall. And uh, let's take her out of the plastic. So I'm throwing this new saw around. I do like the hex grip. I have a feeling. Here's the orbital action. Just switch it on. Or off. Depending on what you need. Adjustable shoe right here. So it comes in. All the way up. Locked up, and then that is how you adjust the uh, take the blade in and out, tool free. Yeah. All right. So it looks like you have to push that in, and then it's okay. That's it. I will say it's comfortable in the hand. I don't know how it is with two hands. Looks like there's some metal in there. So simple locks on, lock on and off switch. And oh, there's a grip light right here. I guess there's got to be a light. Yep, I think I see it. In here, right there. So you can you can actually use this as a flashlight then. So you can line up your cuts and everything. But this is a nice little saw. I got this because, um, like I said, I, I'm a landscaper. And I like using reset blade, uh, saws for uh, quick cuts, like pruning cuts. Put the uh, nice Diablos in there. Trim them up. Trees, you know, bushes, simple stuff. Because I get, like, a couple of customers that would be 
going to me, going saying, hey, can you uh, trim this, you know, bush up real quick, you know? And, you know, it's, it's just easier than to bring out a gas-powered uh, hitch trimmer every time. These are compact. You know, I don't have to worry about the smell of gas either in the truck or outside of it. I can... And plus, a lot of times, it's just like one or two cuts. I'll make like five bucks, ten bucks off of it. And, you know, for $60, I'll make, my, you know, make this up in a, less than a week. <laughs> Probably in a day. So, all right. I'll try to get some video of this going on, and uh, that's it. But it feels good. It's not as good as, that's the way I see it. It's not as good as the Milwaukee. These guys are made by the uh, same company that makes Milwaukee and Ryobi. It's like in between. It's not as good as Milwaukee, but not as bad as Ryobi. But I have to say, Ryobi is stepping it up. So let's see how uh, that new Octane does, since they, that's the reason why they're getting rid of this saw. Because they're coming out with a new, better saw that's supposed to be as good as the uh, Milwaukee. So let's talk, we'll talk later, all right? If you like the video, please like it. Subscribe if you wish. I wish you guys did though, and um, leave a comment down below. I'll talk to you guys later.